Google Workspace Tip of the Week, Best of 2023. One of my favourite things to do here at Dams and Cloud is coming up with our weekly tips for our Tip of the Week email service. Google has a ton of little aha moment functions that are too small to introduce in a face-to-face -face training session, but are really, really useful for our users. Clients who sign up to our Tip of the Week service get 52 of these tips throughout the year. Each tip takes two minutes to read and one minute to action, and it introduces your users to underused existing functions or new functionality coming on stream. Users can then curate their own library of just-in-time learning resources that they can refer back to when they come across a requirement for a function in their day-to-day -day of their doing their job. Also, isn't it nice to get an email from the IT team that's not about changing your password or watching out for phishing links? Today, let's look at our top five tip of the week tips from 2023. Tip one, get your tabs under control. I love to meet a tab hoarder. You know, that colleague whose browser window has hundreds of tiny tabs across the top. For some, it's creative chaos and they know where everything is, but for others, it is a pain point constantly in search of the correct tab. For these clients, I love to show them how to group their tabs into tab groupings. Here you can see my browser window is very busy. Start by selecting a tab and right clicking. From the right click menu, select Add Tab to New Group. Add a name for your tab grouping and choose a color if appropriate. Now you can drag and drop tabs into the group and you can see the color of the tab group becomes associated with each tab as it is added. You can create lots of tab groups, allowing you to sort your tabs by task, by subject, perhaps even by project. Clicking the tab group name will hide or reveal the tabs grouped within it. Right click the group name to see the options for that group. And the handy feature in here is the save group slider. Clicking here will save the group and add the group tab to the bookmarks bar. From the option menu, it's also possible to move the whole tab group to another window, or ultimately you can ungroup the tabs, returning them to their singular tab status. Tip two, quickly offer times to meet. Do you find yourself sending multiple emails backward and forward to arrange a single meeting? You know the emails you suggest two times on Friday, the client counters with another day, you email back with times for that day, and the interaction becomes a mess of offers and counter offers. Cut out the email traffic with Gmail's find a time to meet function. Use the function to add clear meeting slots to an email, allowing your recipient to quickly review, select and confirm in a couple of minutes. From the Compose window, click the Set up a time to meet icon and choose Offer times that you're free. Calendar app will pop out from the apps bar. Scroll to the Add a date button and select the date you wish to offer times for. You can select a bank of available times and you can add more dates and times. The calendar defaults to a one hour duration for the meeting, which you can adjust as appropriate. Calendar will automatically add a Google Meet to the appointment schedule, which you can remove as required, and you can amend to a relevant event title. Click Add to Email and your Compose window will populate with an individual availability schedule. If you haven't already, you can now compose your email around the schedule, and once sent, your recipient can clearly view your available times and select an appropriate slot. This will capture the details needed for the meeting and add to both your and your recipient's calendars. Tip three, keep your inbox efficient. Do you use your inbox as a to-do list? It's okay, at least 70% of attendees to our Accelerate Your Communication courses use their inbox in this way. But what if some of the emails relate to future actions that you need to take? It would be great if you could get them out of the inbox and have them return when you actually need them. 
Well, the snooze function can help you with just that. Here we can see a travel itinerary for later in the year. From the hover menu, click the snooze icon. Gmail offers a number of default options. However, we have a specific date and time in mind, so we're going to choose the select date and time option. Now it's possible to click through the mini calendar, select a date and add a time. Click save and the email will disappear from the inbox, returning with the later date and time you selected. Once you have snoozed an email, it's possible to view any snoozed emails from the snoozed label. Here the emails are visible and from the hover menu, the snooze option is still available. Upon clicking the snooze icon, it's possible to see that unsnooze has appeared. Clicking this will return the email to the inbox. Tip four, speed up your data entry. This tip is a function close to my heart. If you are reliant on a multitude of team members inputting data into your spreadsheet, you will understand the frustration of having cell contents misspelt or additional formats added, which mess up your formula. Perhaps even you work in spreadsheets with a small pool of repeated data and many entry rows, and you would really like a way to quickly add data whilst controlling for human error. If this sounds like you, then you'll be interested in creating dropdowns in your sheets. I have a column in my spreadsheet in which I'm going to capture student accommodation types. You can see that typing this out each time is very time consuming, and I'm also at risk of misspelling words or adding white space, all of which is problematic down the line when I come to sort or filter the information. Instead, I'm going to highlight the cells and from the insert menu, select drop down. This opens a data validation tab and crucially applies the drop down as a criteria and picks up on the existing options in the cells. I can add more options below to build out my option list before dragging and dropping to relocate options. If required, I can add a color fill for each option to help with visibility in the larger data sheet. Click done and the drop down is added to the sheet as a chip with an option indicator. I'm going to drag copy the drop down all the way down through the rest of the column. Now my collaborators and I can quickly update the sheet. Tip five, create a personal data view. In my work, I often work with a larger data set or task trackers. And often I need to use the filter function to make the data more manageable. However, when I pop into a document and filter for my own specificity, I'm often affecting the ability of my colleagues to collaborate on the document, especially if they need to see the data which I have filtered out. Instead, I can create a filter without affecting my colleagues' work. I can do this using filter views. Starting with your data set, go to the data dropdown, but rather than selecting filter, instead hover over filter views and select create new filter view. You will now see a dark frame around your data indicating that the filter view is on and that you are creating a personalized filter of the data. Firstly, give your filter a name. This will be useful for finding your filter again. Now from the filter chevron at the top of the column, create your filter as usual. Once you have completed your work, you can turn off the filter or you can simply leave it on as the filter is only visible to you. To re-access a filter, access the data dropdown, hover over filter views and select your filter from the list. So there you go. That's our top tip of the week tips from 2023. Let's take a look at what we looked at. We're using tab groupings to manage our tabs using the find a time function to set meetings, snoozing emails to keep your inbox under control, using drop down chips to speed up data entry, and using filter view to filter data without affecting others.
If you're interested in getting tips like these directly into your users' inboxes, why not contact us today and talk about signing up for the Tip of the Week service? And until next week, see you then.